morning, good morning. I have a little page here, the back side of yesterday's. So I'm going to try and do a little different something or other. I don't know. We'll start off differently, maybe. This is a printable from uh, Robin McClendon. So we're going to use part of that. Um, there's a girl in here, which I don't normally put people like this in my stuff because it's just not my aesthetic. I don't draw the faces and all of that. I'm just, I value them as art, but I don't do them for myself because I just, that's not my aesthetic, which is fine. We can all have different ways. All right, that might be our base, but today we're going to use this lady. And our prompt for today is sell. When I mean when I say sell, I mean like a weather cell on a like on a um, weather map on the news. Like that would be a cell, or this is a cell. And we had cells coming over the lake big time. Um many of them and on the weather channel they're like this cell is moving east this cell is moving this way at a rate of this amount of miles an hour so a terminal a term in weather cell not like amoeba cell but we are doing these kind of things as if they were under the microscope but cell it's either a little obvious for me or for over for under a microscope or a little abstract. I couldn't get my thoughts together there. I don't I, I, I might just just keep doing what I've been doing. Though I have liked doing like bigger objects. Let's see what we can do with we tear this. Okay, be careful. He's still working on his ex wife's house. Yes, we have been married for almost 29 years, 28 and a half years. Yeah. Remember how I talked how big his heart is? It's a little too big at times. He's very intelligent, and I always say his heart is bigger than his brain, and he's very intelligent. It's a matter of you don't want to hear them insert curse words here all the time, so you just do stuff to relieve drama because they are all drama queens and, but poor little Bella is getting braces on Tuesday I just saw these let's see if we can come up with something to put in here we haven't done this in a while or replicate something she's getting braces on Tuesday which she has her mother's teeth which It's not a good thing, but they're not as bad as her mother's were. I haven't used orange hardly at all. See, I kind of like that. And here is some orange. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so by the time this is done, you're not going to know that there's a woman back there. It's just the coloring. 
See, just that little bit. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Dina Wakely. Did I copy her at all? Nope. But I just took the idea of a tiny, a few tiny pieces of scrap and I might splatter paint on them like this. And that is what cell looks like under a microscope in an abstract sort of way. Oh, let's see, I need to put this one down first. So the dog's at the groomer. They have another new groomer. So we shall see how all that goes. Because he's not very good with people pulling on his legs or pulling on his face. It wouldn't be the first time we were called in to say, can you please come get your dog? We cannot handle him. Or we had to put a muzzle on your dog. I'm like, yeah, but we warned them. And they should know that that breed is kind of iffy. Oh, that's pretty. That is gorgeous, just like that. I can hear the osprey out there screaming. Oh, we get to add another animal to our... What lives up here now? <laughs> Armadillos. Armadillos in South Carolina? Uh, yeah. Who would have thought? But we have seen three dead ones in the last two days. Okay, this is purple. What did I say? I haven't used a lot orange, but I got orange in there and there's purple here. So I'm going to go with purple and I don't know what I'm going to do. If I outline the whole thing in purple, maybe since we are, it seems to be, that's what my hand is doing. Well, that's really pretty, but it also is matching all of this next door. Tomorrow, the, the thing is splinter. The prompt is splinter. I'm kind of thinking I might take this out or just glue it to that. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Because this is a little too small. But who knew when I made this what it was going to do? So, all right, that's glued down. Anyhow, yeah, armadillos, crazy. Yeah, I think I might try. This is all kind of like sienna and raw umber colors underneath the paper is. And then I have orange and purple and a little gold or yellow. This was done with Citrusel on National Geographic, um, which is a really messy process. And you have to have certain National, uh, National Geographics of a certain age because the paper changed, which I did not have the right paper. But I was not upset with the result here. All right, I need... So I, what I was trying to say is I think I'm going to use... I think this paint is the one that's trying to separate... I might just end up having to throw this one away. I'm trying to miss. Ugh. Okay, that seems to be okay. Enough. Oh, I like this paper, this color too. Yellow okra, ochre, and portrait pink is what I'm going to mix together. and water it down and splash it about. If I can find the right paintbrush. Where's my red handled paintbrush? Oh, yeah. I was adding some watercolor to the Hobonichi pages. So it really turned into more of a yellow ochre, which is fine. I don't know if this is wet enough to splatter, but we shall see. Add a little bit more water. Hmm. 
Hmm. I really can't tell. Might need to be a different color. I think I'm getting more on my face. I can feel it. <laughs> really big, I mean, really teeny tiny little spots. So I'm just going to exaggerate them with the paintbrush, the ones that are there. I really want them just to work. Maybe I need a darker brown. Huh. What is this? Pearl gold. Okay. 